When this fucking beat drop, you already know what fucking time it is. Daily Dose is on now. Check it out, y'all. And the marathon continues. This Friday, Ooh. February 5th, the Marathon Visual Album Experience yeah. will be live on YouTube at 6 p.m. Now, they have released a, a released. Now, they have released a teaser and it was actually posted on Nipsey Hussle's official Instagram page. Here's what it looks like. So it's basically mm. uh, the track Love in the background and, and the car, you know, riding around. I wonder if it's going to have, like, certain visuals of Nipsey that we have not seen yet. No, I cannot of wait. Of course. I just think it's a trip. Like, it's like 10 years or well, almost 11 years after, you know, uh, the Marathon Mixtape. And just to kind of go back and see Nips at, at, at the beginning, mm -hmm. right? Like, that's going to be a dope experience. So definitely checking that out on Friday, 6 o'clock. Long live Nip. I just, every time I think about Nip, it's just like, dang, too soon. Gone too soon. Now, Trey Songs is trending on Twitter because nudes have leaked, Boing. ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Chris, did you see the video I sent you? I saw... You saw a head, but not his head. Uh, so we don't know it's for sure. I Trey saw something. Songs. <laughs> I don't you know guys, what's going on. You we don't know for discussion. sure it's him, but this is allegedly his sex I, tape. I can't believe we're talking about this right now. Can we go ahead and play that? No. no, we can't. Listen, ah. And women, you guys disgust me. The amount of thirst is incredible. You got women calling him Trey Longs now. Like, that's unacceptable. We Damn. need to do better in 2021. It All was right? It was a big problem. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> listen, get, listen, get ahead Trace of yourself right okay, now. Okay? I'm going to get ahead Post of bad. the game. Moving on. Now, back in 2014, Macklemore won a Grammy for Best Rap Album over Kendrick Lamar, one of the biggest, uh, maybe one of the biggest moments in hip-hop history. It's the yes. biggest slight ever. Like, Good Kid, Mad City was, is a classic album. It should have won Rap Album of the Year. They gave it to Macklemore. But what transpired after that? Oh, it's insane. So in a recent interview, he spoke about what happened after that. He texted Kendrick, and this is what he said. You got robbed. I wanted you to win. You should have. It's weird and sucks that I robbed you. I was going to say that during the speech. Then the music started playing, and I froze. Anyway, you know what it is. Congrats this year on your music, blah, 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 blah. The point is, is that he posted it, and now he's saying that he regrets making this post public. It was a bad look. Like, why would you do that? Like, text him on the side, cool, right? Like, if you feel bad that he should have won, text him on the side. And then, at the time, I know it was like 2014, I, you, didn't, you don't even have IG live, but go out there and, and release a statement if you like, but don't Tech, don't post a text you sent Kendrick. I then hate it comes that. across fake. It wasn't genuine. And of course he regrets it. I think the biggest thing that he is upset about is that he, he was getting backlash because it's like, oh, that's your white guilt. And he's like, nah, I'm I hate the fact that I've benefited from something that I've been crapping on a long time, the institution, because he's independent. So he, he went the independent route. And kudos to him. Like, the highest was cool if you liked it. Like, it's a high. Is it better than Good Command City? No. But he's saying that he's upset because he benefited from the institution that he's been crapping on for a long time. And we're saying, get you a Grammy up. <laughs> get a Grammy up, man. And the was... younger kids are like, who? Yeah, isn't it funny how that works out? But look, the the interview is dope. You know, go check it out if you, if you like it. Macklemore, you know, he he's overcome drug use, and yeah, we want to see him win. But just let this be the last time you mention Kendrick and the Grammys and Good Kid, Mad City, because we don't want to relive just that. Let's move on. We don't want to relive Let's move that on. moment. But let's just stay in on the topic of apologizing and you know, screenshotting apologies and then posting them online. Oh yeah. Do you think that they're necessary or corny? <laughs> you know what? I think they might be necessary because if you um, if you embarrass me publicly, then you better apologize publicly. Wait. I, you know, maybe? Mm, that's the one side to it. You think? The way I look at it is if people text each other, don't be posting that. That's personal between you and two other people. Do that's, not take it to social. There you go, man. Don't take it. Posting private conversations online. Necessary or corny? Ooh. Comment down below, baby. Yeah. This is the Daily Dose. Every morning we hold it down. Power morning, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Power 106. I'm going to post what you text to me right now. The Trey Songz nude video? <laughs> I didn't send that, by the way. I don't even know why I said that. That is horrible. Pause. Pause this whole show. When this fucking beat drop, you already know what fucking time it is. Now. Check it out, y'all.